Ice Spice with Munch. Best song of the year. What? What the f Yo, what is up? It is Korean Einstein back for another juicy Korean video. And today, we're going to talk about what I think are overrated and underrated albums of 2022. We were blessed with some fantastic and also some interesting albums this past year a diverse collection of, of music so without further ado let's get down to business starting off this list we have her loss which i th personally think is extremely underrated this album is a great comeback for drake especially after the years of just mediocrity we've gotten from him so many amazing songs like broke boys Pussy and Millions, Rich Flex, On BS, Middle of the Ocean. Just Drake coming back with his best rapping performance in, in years. Then we got Mr. Morale and The Big Steppers by Kendrick Lamar. And this album is also underrated. Um, so many great tracks, so many amazing songs like N95, Father Time, Savior, uh, Mother I Sober. Um, even the hard part 5, which is fantastic. You know, it might not be as flashy or as densely produced as t -Pab or Good Kid Mad City or even Damn. However, the introspection and the, and the meditation just behind the whole album is just fantastic. It's almost like a therapy session within an album. So for that reason, it's an extremely underrated project for me. Next we have It's Almost Dry by Pusha T. And I think this album is properly rated. I know a lot of music fans a lot of hip-hop fans think this is the best rap album of the year and while i do think it has some fantastic sensational bangers like uh this one and this one basically the first half of the of this album is just pure banger after banger pure coke rap after coke rap however there is a small dip in quality within that second half where um push a t kind of goes into some more pop and more um uh, mainstream direction which isn't as compelling as the first half or it's just like amazing production uh, fantastic lyrics and bars and just a really dark gritty vibe to it so overall properly rated next we have jack carlos come home the kids miss you and yes this one is overrated first class should not have been the most popular rap song of the year um just a a, a disgrace of an album I, I i like jack carlo a lot as a personality however his music is just uh not for me so far i hope that he improves in this next album then we have the forever story by jid or jid amazing beautiful rap album just um some of the best rapping and performances and lyrics of the entire year i have to give it the underrated label for the forever story then we have futures i never liked you and while there are some really great bangers some really hard hitting songs like uh 7 12 pm puffin on zooties gold stacks keep it burning just some um classic sounding future songs um half of this album is just pure mediocrity just personally not enjoyable uh, so i'm gonna have to give it the overrated label then we have metro boomin's heroes versus villains his latest album with so many amazing features like 21 savage travis scott future who absolutely kills it on this album even more so than on his own album this past year and uh, i have to go with properly rated this album got huge praise within the rap community and just because uh i find this album properly rated and another one underrated does not mean i necessarily like that underrated album more it's just what the consensus is overall within the community so um heroes versus villains i think it was uh, massively loved by the by the rap community so i'm gonna give it the properly rated rating then we have king's disease 3 by nas and this one again fans loved it rap fans loved it i loved it properly rated but then we have melt my eyes see your future and while this album was praised within the community i still think it's extremely underrated so many great songs that just went off the radar like um songs like uh, uh, angels and troubles x-wing and even though the bangers on this album like uh melt session number one walkin just from front to back 
there are no filler tracks, just a, a complete sounding album. Denzel Curry's best work so far to this day. Don FM by The Weeknd is also underrated. You know, people just love the dark atmosphere of After Hours. And while I do like After Hours slightly more, I do appreciate the, the pop aesthetic of Don FM. It's The Weeknd embodying MJ, uh, Michael Jackson, and it's just a, a great album. So many amazing catchy songs, easily underrated. And then we have DS Forever by Gunna. And this one is overrated. Not even the best uh, trap album of the year. There's only a few songs I would take out from this track list. Um, Push and P, thought I was playing uh, a couple more, but besides that, not really my uh, 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 um, cup of tea. Overall, overrated. And then we have DJ Khaled's God Did. And yes, this one is also overrated. I can't believe this album got nominated for a Grammy. That's absolutely ludicrous. Not a single great track on this entire album. There's only like a handful of cuts that I would consider even remotely listening to again. Uh, but overall, overrated. Same thing with uh, Kid Cudi's Intergalactic, which I had huge hopes for after the fantastic release of Man on the Moon 3. But this album just turned out to be a really uh, bland and um, just boring album. Only a few great songs, the rest were just kind of forgettable, uh, overrated. 2000 by Joey Badass is properly rated. I think this album had a lot of uh, um, beautiful, engaging songs. Brought back that boom bap production and, uh, and, and those, uh, those classic um, Joey Badass vibes. And uh, overall, yeah, I'd say properly rated. Final Days by Logic is extremely, extremely underrated. So many great songs. Comeback Season, he came back with a banger album. So many amazing beats. Just these chill vibes. Amazing uh, just uh, concept too with all these skits and um, uh, cameos by celebrities and friends alike. Quavo and Takeoff's only built for Infinity Links is um, a pretty good trap album. I was not actually expecting them to release a, a cohesive album, but here we are in 2022 where they dropped possibly the best Migos album since the first culture. And yeah, it's going to be properly rated for me. Um, rest in peace, Takeoff. Great performances, great beats, just an overall good album. And then we have Honestly Nevermind, which is um, notoriously hated by the rap community. There are some really good highlights on the album, like Jimmy Cook's Like Downhill, Sticky, Overdrive, Massive, but a majority of this album is just uh, boring, sleep-inducing dance music. And I think uh, most of the rap community agrees with that take. So overall, I'm going to give it the properly rated uh, a, a label. Then we have uh, Brock Hampton's The Family, which I personally think is underrated. It's just Kevin Abstract uh, rapping over J Dilla type beats. And uh, honestly, a majority of these songs I like, so I'm gonna go with underrated. However, their other album that dropped the next day called uh, TM, massively overrated. Oh my god, the most disappointing album of the year. The most bland and boring uh, rap pop music I've heard all the year, um, yeah, overrated. Conway the Machine, God Don't Make Mistakes is extremely underrated. Fantastic album, so many heartbreaking cuts on this project. Benny the Butcher's 10 of Top 4, uh, I'm gonna say it's uh, properly rated. However, none of the songs reached the, the, the level of quality of uh, Johnny P's Caddy, so for that reason, properly rated. And then we have a Black Thought and Danger Mouse is uh, Cheat Codes, which is so underrated. Oh my god. Some of the best productions and the beats and lyrics you can find this past year. Uh, Black Thought comes through with that conscious side uh, of, of hip hop and he just absolutely kills it. Danger Mouse with his uh, fantastic old school production. Yeah, this is, this is uh, underrated. Poor Day with from a bird's eyes view. I did like a few tracks, but still overall, it's kind of overrated. But then Freddie Gibbs with uh, Soul Sold Separately. I'm gonna say it's uh, properly rated. It's great. It shows that Freddie Gibbs is uh, 
able to carry an album on his own without the help of a, of a producer that's who's gonna take care of all the beats for him. Still, I'm gonna say it's properly rated. We also got West Side Gun with 10. This album is extremely underrated. So many great tracks on here. I love West Side Gun's energy and his knack for curating these um, really uh, weird and interesting songs that I, that I personally love a lot. Overall, underrated. Vince Staples with Ramona Park broke my heart. And as much as I like Vince Staples' uh, previous albums, uh, personally, this album kind of um, just came and went. Some really good, heartfelt songs. However, the majority of this project is kind of forgettable. So I'm going to go with uh, Overrated. Oh, I got one more. Uh, not album, but song. And that is uh, Ice Spice with Munch. And this one is extremely, extremely underrated. Best song of the year. Thank you for watching. Love you. Spread that juicy Korean love. Alright. Peace out.